Hi, this is Andrea Marchi and I, I've got some great news about Benja, bootable Electron Node.js application. So I've created an ISO, yoohoo! Basically I have an ISO file, um, it's a zip uh, distributed online, uh, it's uh, compressed, it's almost one gig. Uh, what you have to do with this zip file, you extract the um, ISO file and then, uh, well, you need to find out which one is the right card, in this case it was um, the the SD card or the S or the disk or I don't know it depends if you're on Linux or, or Mac. Um, find out where is it and then you need to well to be to play safely you need to unmount unmount it and then you need to basically burn the the ISO directly to the to the root card. Remember not not partitions but just where is the card. So this is the, the important bit and there are instructions online also where to find the link, where to find the ISO. I've tried with the 8 gigs uh, SD card, uh, 16 gigs XD card, um, it's, it's fine, it should work. Uh, so it takes a while because well it, it depends how fast is your SD card and, and your uh, card reader as well. Uh, remember to sync before you remove you remove the card, so I just removed that. This is the card. And let's see what this card can do. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, this is in front of you, is a Raspberry Pi 3. Well, this is the same thing I wired up badly and show you yesterday. I'm gonna put the card on it um, and connect. So it should boot, it should, as, soon, as soon as you switch on the Raspberry Pi, it should just boot. Um, again, the, boot, the bootstrap time uh, depends how fast is your SD card. Uh, in this case, it should be just a bounce uh, of seconds. Uh, if you have connected the, the Raspberry Pi to the network, you should see the first screen with a, with a network as well, with an IP address, so you can use basically the IP address to connect directly to the Pi. Um, otherwise, you will just see uh, they they did everything is fine. So the important bit is this ready to rock at the end. This 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 means that basically the the board is ready to interact with uh, um, Johnny Five. So in this case, I'm just clicking. Um, I've, I've I've slightly modified the index that you will find uh, in the in the ISO in in this prepared uh, SD card. So the thing that I've changed is not much. So actually, let's see if I can show you. Is basically, uh, I might share the code online at some point. But basically, it's just what's doing uh, inside the, the, the web view. So here is the, my HTML page. So this is just some CSS. Um, you will find the same code in the ISO. Um, then this is the bit, uh, line 93. I've added just for testing purpose, um, since I don't know where you're gonna wire your board, uh, I just created, so there's, this is a little workaround to, to require correctly uh, the Benja, um, the modules from the Benja folder. Um, then I grabbed Johnify, which is installed locally, and Raspi.io, which is also pre-installed, so both Johnify and Raspi are already in the ISO, uh, ready to go. Um, these two are just to log some 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 message, but also this one, uh, these two both uh, are needed to to avoid some to avoid the board to to execute to finalize to exit from the program. And then once the board is ready, basically I'm gonna uh, to the main element. Um, I'm gonna up and child uh, AP and uh, write ready to rock. So this is important. When you see ready to rock, it means the the board is ready to use Johnny Five. Um, I wired to this kind of LED, LED, and the LED uh, is off by default. So uh, I just put a quick and dirty uh, on-click listener to the image, which is the Benja image. Um, what do I do with the with this? Uh, basically, I, I stop the event. On the browser, and I swap uh, the, the 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 status of the LED uh, of the LED, um, and then I swap the logo as well. This is just a demo, right? So it's nothing too fancy, but it, it, it works. Um, LED toggle, or you can use LED on or LED off accordingly if it's on or off. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only difference between my code and since I wired the board like this and the ISO that uh, I've put online. So have fun.